So in these next few videos, we're going to do some examples of dosage calculations. So you actually secretly already know how to do dosage calculations. Um, there are a few ways that your textbook goes through to do dosage calculations. They're all just as good as each other. Um, one way, they give you a dosage formula, um, and, or you can use proportions. Or the other thing you can do is use dimensional analysis, which we've actually practiced a bunch. So that's what we're going to use in these next few videos. You're welcome to go look in your textbook and look at the formula and look at the uh, method using proportions. But for this whole of chapter five, I'm going to use dimensional analysis for everything. Just because it's something you already know how to do. There's no formulas or anything to memorize. Uh, and it works really, really well for many things. So once you know how to do dimensional analysis, you can do all of these things in chapter five. All right, so I've got an example here. A uh, physician orders 750 milligrams of an antibiotic, and the label on the medicine bottle states the dosage strength is 150 milligrams per tablet. So in each tablet, there's 150 milligrams. So what we need to figure out is what is the correct amount to give the patient. So we're going to give the patient some tablets of antibiotic, and we need to know how many we're going to give. Uh, so the first thing we're going to start out with, we're going to look at the the dose that we have. So your textbook calls this the on-hand dose, but this is what's in each tablet. So we're going to set up a conversion factor using this. And remember, these conversion factors are always equivalent to one. And it's this idea that in, in one tablet, we've got 150 milligrams. So we could write 150 milligrams for one tablet Right, that's equivalent to one because each tablet has 150 milligrams. You could, you could think of it that way. Or we could write one tablet on top. Right, these two fractions are equivalent to each other, and this is what we're actually going to use one of these to be able to do our conversion. Now, the other thing we have is the desired dose. So that's how much we want to give. So we're going to write that down. We want 750 milligrams. But instead of in milligrams, we want it to be tablets. So which conversion factor should I use? Should I use the tablets on the bottom or the tablets on the top? Well, if you look, what do I want to cancel out? I want to cancel out the milligrams. So what ha what's already on the top? The milligrams. So I need milligrams on the bottom. Also, I want tablets on the top because I want to end up with tablets in the end when I'm all done. So I'm going to multiply by the second one that I have where the tablets are on the top and the 150 milligrams are on the bottom, okay? And then I, you can see my milligrams cancel out, which is what I want, and I'm going to be left just with tablets. That's how I know I did it right. I end up with only tablets left. My milligrams cancel out. So all I have to do is 750 divided by 150, right? Reduce this fraction that I'm going to end up with, and that reduces to 5, and I still have tablet. Well, it says tablet, but we'll write tablets, plural. Um, which you can't see, so we'll write it down here. So five tablets. So there we have it. That's our answer. We're going to give five tablets. will give us 750 milligrams.